What is going on guys, Lottery Socks here, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're new. Today we have a lot of stuff to go over, so make sure to stay till the end of the video, but most importantly, I'm going to explain why big institutions are loading up on AMC and GameStop, and why I am loading up on calls on AMC and GameStop, why it might be a good idea, not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but if you find anything value out of this video, make sure to hit the like button, it's free, hit the subscribe button, join us on this journey to financial freedom. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so a couple videos ago, on the charting video that I uploaded, I did not touch the charts literally literally since I made that video and if we look at the charts we had two scenarios that would have played out for AMC either scenario that would have played out is going to lead to a rally in general which is one reason I am very confident in purchasing calls a couple months out on AMC as for GameStop especially for GameStop but if I bring the drawings in right here one of the cycles played out to a T okay so I can remove the red cycle get that out of here and this is exactly what played out to a T from the last uh, video that we had drawn out with that being said this is a blue cycle that played out and it's finishing right now coming down to that five dollar level now this is a little bit different because we played out a red cycle then a blue cycle which shows that things could be flipping on the algorithms which means that amc could be nearing a bottom as well as volume exhaustion hitting on amc and gamestop which could lead to a huge move one way or the other we finished a blue cycle after a red cycle we have not seen this but if we take a look historically between the blue cycles and the red cycles following we we have had these major green cycles where AMC of course ran in January, ran in June, and ran to $30 back late March of 2022. As for GameStop, this is looking beautiful as well. It looks like it's trying to get a break over this $21.20 level. If we bring the drawings in right here, held up to a T, this would essentially be what we're looking at. GameStop having a chance to break the algorithms and do what it did back in January of 2021 when the buy button was taken away. This is still holding up to a T. If you didn't see that charting video, I highly suggest you go watch it because watching this now you're probably like where is this dude pulling this out of his ass but trust me i did not pull this out of my ass now another reason why i'm fairly confident is the implied volatility on the options chain is extremely low down to this red line right here on amc which usually is a sign that amc is near a relative bottom and that the implied volatility is going to rise after that along with the price action which is a good thing to see it means you're paying less for premium so in my opinion now is a decent time to grab calls on amc and GameStop and if you look at GameStop the IV is below the red line however it is starting to scale up and in my opinion now is a fair time to get into GameStop as well if you time the bottom congratulations but even now is a relative low for the implied volatility on GameStop now if you want to know my trades as soon as I take them pop in the discord the link is right under the video but you get access to one-on-ones from me because I'm in there on the daily it's basically like a huge stock talk group chat where we talk stocks all day long plus there's options trading alerts and a few other channels that are dope as well in there. I'm going to leave that in the comments down below. Another thing I'm leaving in the comments, guys, real quick is Moomoo. If you want to use my link, sign up and download Moomoo and make a deposit in there. You will get 20 free stocks, each valued up to $2,000 per stock. So literally, it's a chance at $20,000 for doing nothing. Also, if you're in Australia, Moomoo is allowing me to give you 10 free AMC stocks guaranteed once you sign up and deposit and another 10 on top of that. So guys, that link is in the comments and the description down below as well as the Discord. Now, institutions, loading up on AMC. We posted a video yesterday about Bank of America and BlackRock buying AMC, buying Mullen, and now today, Florida Retirement System increases position in AMC as company reports positive earnings. You love to see it. You pop over to the 13F, and this is true state board of administration of florida retirement system ownership and amc you come down here 433,287 shares and you can see that they have been accumulating since march of 2021 after they took the buy button away and it scaled down they bought more they bought more slowly sold off it looks like they lost faith right here maybe they seen what the apes have been exposing and they started to load up once again and they still have not let shares go since so why the consensus is so bad and institutions even big ones are loading up on amc absolutely doesn't make sense it just shows further that we must be on to something that we must be right about this play on top of that co2 if i'm pronouncing that wrong whatever holding over 21 million worth of amc stock added over 1.18 million shares filed today average cost six dollars and 75 cents first owned q1 of 2022 you can see that right here in the legitimate 13f management llc reports 38.9 99% increase in ownership of AMC 
4.212 million shares at a latest disclosed value of $21,102. And again, they have been accumulating, accumulating, accumulating shares. It looks like they bought back here, bought again, and then sold. So they probably evened out or made a little bit of a profit on that slight, slight run up. And then they've been loading up again since December of 2022, adding more in March. Another institution, Verition Fund Management, bought over 3 million worth of AMC calls filed today. Booth Bay Fund Management also added 603,000 worth of calls also filed today. First time either have bought into AMC. It seems as if AMC is nearing a rock bottom. It seems as if funds are loading up on AMC. It seems as if the banking crisis is getting worse. The market is about to crash. And overall, short sellers are turning on each other. Could this be close to doomsday? Guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. What I find interesting is I was looking at my fidelity on my long-term account today, and I decided to search up AMC. And what I found was a company report from the analyst expectations and opinions on the stock. If you guys hear the dog in the background, I apologize, but try to just mask it out, okay? If you scroll down, you're going to see the ratings from certain companies forward equity research refinitive veras both say sell on amc iss eva jefferson research both say sell on amc the other ones are neutral you don't see one institution one fund stating to buy amc in fact you come down and you see Citigroup Investment Research, the underwriter for AMC, the trusty right-hand man for Adam Aaron, Citigroup, is basically saying AMC's a sell. Not only that, but half of these institutions are buying AMC, yet rating it a sell rating, which absolutely makes no sense, clearly helping out short sellers, lending out shares, so on and so forth. If you come back down, Florida State had it right on the money. They entered an AMC position as the company reports positive earnings, and if you look in this report, even though all of these analysts are still saying sell AMC, take a look at the earnings reports for AMC increasingly getting better quarter over quarter over quarter and finally starting to go positive. In my opinion, this is the turning point, even if it was the bottom for short sellers, algorithms, market makers, whatever, this is the turning point as a company in general to fundamentally not short this company. You don't want to short a company with good fundamentals. There's no short thesis there. So just keep that in mind as well. I thought that was interesting as well as this. OTC markets approved by FINRA to trade digital assets that are securities. In my opinion, this is just another bad way to screw over retail and it's just another shady thing that is being passed by FINRA to save the bigger players the too big to fails you guys let me know what you think about this in the comments down below there is not much stated here and not much stated about it but the fact that it's not too transparent and that FINRA already approved it just seems like it's some shady shit that's happening. Also, Silvergate Capital, ticker symbol SI, delisted from the exchange for cause effective today, according to the NYSE. Overall, guys, this is what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Make sure to hit the like button on your way out. Hit the subscribe button. Check the links down below. I love you all. Peace.